Welcome to the electric car of the future, sponsored by the gasoline producers of America. Hello, I'm an electric car. I can't go very fast or very far. And if you drive me, people will think you're... This is what people think electric carts are like. So today, I'm going up to Teamsport Nottingham to try out their new fleet of electric carts and to try out the new track layout. Is it going to be as bad as people say? Or is it going to be genuinely quite surprisingly fun? Let's go and find out. Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video where today, like I said in the intro, we're trying out an electric car. Yeah, that's right, we're trying out electric carts in here at Teamsport Nottingham who have a recent fleet of electric carts and a slight layout change. So we're going to be trying out new carts, a completely new experience, try out what the new layout change is like. I think it's only the first hairpin for the ramp that slightly narrowed that down. It's the last corner that brought that a bit closer as well, so the track is a little bit shorter. But whether it makes it quicker or not, who knows? Whether these electric carts can be quicker, who knows? I thought we're here to find out. So we're here on a Monday night, so with the electric carts, from what I'm aware of, is they've got two power settings, power three, power four. Uh, power 4 they only do on the members night, so the maximum power is only on the members nights. So we're here for the Monday night social, 3 for 2, so we're not racing but we're here to see what it's like, uh, give it a go. And yeah, from what I'm aware of, there's a lot of quick guys here as well, so uh, some of the old old members, some of the uh, some people from Gridline, things like that. So there's going to be some quick people out here. And yeah, so let's get inside, try these new parts out, and I'll see you out on the track. It's going to be the weirdest experience ever. Whoa. Okay, that's very odd. That's very odd. That's just, it's just weird. Oh, I am full throttle right now, boys. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Welcome to electric karting. Oh, now we're talking power here. Oh, it feels restricted around the corner. So we're getting the live, instant responses from RB Racing, which everyone else can probably hear because it's so quiet. Oh shit, I like... Brakes are a bit sharp. It's definitely not as grippy. Maybe that's not for new tyres. Okay, just corner hasn't been shortened out, which I thought it had been. So it was much more easier up the, sh up the, up the hill. Just going for the inside and move on to of them. Front response doesn't feel very responsive. There it goes again. Got to get used to that. Goes for the late apex. It does feel very, uh, yeah. Yeah, I will admit, the uh, throttle response ain't the best at all. It's just weird, I can't really see. There's just no sound. Like, when you're in petrol cars, I'm sort of like in, you know, I'm in the head. I can sort of like concentrate myself without knowing that people can hear me but here it's like can't really talk because people can probably hear well done dave then after Dave killed a car, nothing really much happened in the session, it was just me on my own, getting used to the track, getting used to the new car. So yeah, let's skip to session two and let's see what happens in that one. Go 
and into session two and straight away we get into a good battle here and well I think um, these electric carts with extra torque doesn't really help the heavier guys as they can still really, the lighter guys can really get up the hill pretty quickly compared to the heavier lot. But yeah, so we've managed to keep the position through them set of corners, but when we get to the final corner, yeah, we lose it. We just concede it because we know the guy's quicker anyway, so there's no point in battling it too much. But then when we get to the first hairpin, we're going to get an amazing move by Sam. Oh, I've gone for the sand bomb! <laughs> so yeah, Sam gets past, past us. Uh, yeah, we ain't going to fight too much. We know Sam's quicker, so he's a light guy, especially about hills. You can really tell that they can really, really get up that hill a lot quicker than the heavier guys. And we just get past Grade K there, who will probably be doing a video on this as well, so I'll leave his channel below if you want to go see that. But if we skip forward a little bit, and we get uh, another dive bomb from one of the lighter guys again. And here's another good example of the lighter guy yeah. can just really get up this hill. The extra torque just seems to be really helping out the lighter guys. I know I'm making excuses, but it's it's their footage. And here goes a big crash right here. Oh, hey. so not a big crash. But I'll put the cam box view in there just to show that I couldn't really um, see Nicky there. He's span up the last corner. But then if we skip forward, I think about a couple laps later, we're going to get this. Yeah, I do, a, I do a spin myself in my last corner. And then, spoiler alert, that's not the only spin this session. But that puts us behind Dave and Nikki, who Nikki's actually going to let both me and Dave go through. So get past Nikki there, and we're just going to go on the hunt for Dave. So then later that lap, we're still on the back of Dave, who's going to make a big mistake coming into the last corner as he goes wide, as I think we've all been doing that these first two sessions. Really onto the back of Dave here. Can we get the move done? Come up to the first hairpin. Not quite, but Dave does go wide again, misses the apex. We do get side by side as have a little talk with Dave. Just a casual thing, you know, why you can't have a conversation with a guy you're having a battle with. But again, skipping a lap as he makes another mistake at the first hairpin. Are we going to get the move done this time? Not quite. Still side by side. Again, we're not going to get the move done here. We're going to get it done, possibly come to the bottom hairpin, but still right on the back of Dave. But it gets a bad exit, possibly by me pushing him a little bit. Gets a bad exit, and I'm going to taunt him coming straight past. But we do get past there with a human DRS, so it definitely works, especially indoors. So we get that move done, and then where are we now? We're going to skip forward, are we? We're going to skip forward a few more laps, and this happens. Okay, I'll spin it again. Start a everyone go past spin it again and again i'm going to say spoiler alert that's isn't the only it's not the last spin here on this session but we do get to the checkered flag and yeah so at this point i'd usually probably be these out but it's quite funny so if we skip towards the end of the lap this is again yellow flags i'm trying to show off here and yeah i spin <laughs> i spin on the lap that we're coming in on this. Yeah, that was, that was from me showing off. Pretty embarrassing, but it was pretty funny looking back at it. There's basically a bit everyone laughing at me now. It's the, uh, it was a spin of shame, a big spin of shame. But that's the end of session two, so let's get to session three. What? I just did it on myself. <laughs> Coming into session three then, we're going to start off the session with a big near miss there. As we watch the action replay, that must be millimetres away. Yeah, you can't get closer than that one. Big near miss to start off session three. Get the uh, get the old reactions warmed up. Someone has a little spin there on the first hairpin. It's not really what you want to see coming out of the uh, first couple of corners. But as we let, who we letting through, letting through the girlfriend through. So we let her through, um, she's been behind us for quite a while at this point. 
well, about halfway through the session, not really that much happens. But as we get to this bottom hairpin here, we're also going to let Harry right through as well, he's pretty quick. So I'll let him through, hopefully try and learn a few things, as we actually do, as this lap coming up now is my fastest lap, so I'm going to let this one play. So there it is in a 35.2, we brought that down from a 35.9 from the first session, so about just under a second there we've improved on, it's always good to see, so it's not the quickest in the session but it's not the slowest, but as we uh, catch up to Harry here as you can really see the difference there, so I'm right behind him at the top of the ramp, but after the ramp he just pulls a cart length out of nowhere, so um, these aren't a new fleet of carts, I believe these are Watford's old fleet of carts. Sam there going for a big dive bomb. That's a mega dive bomb from Sam there, really spooked us all there. But as I was saying, I believe these are Watford's old carts, so it's probably going to be some differences here and there. But yeah, Harry lets us all through. Yeah, still a big, big dive bomb from Sam. But nothing really happens this session. Uh, there's the end of the session, there's check the flag. That's the end of the e-carting experience. So let's get back to the car and let's debrief on sessions. Come on guys, that's it. Um, yeah, that was, that was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. First session was a bit, oh, I don't know about this. I come out the second and the third session. Yeah, it was a lot more, um, a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Do I prefer them over petrol? That's an answer that I don't want to give yet because um, I thought we were going to be running on the maximum power that they, they can go, but fortunately they only do them on Thursday nights. So until I do something like that, the, the level four stuff, then maybe I'll get more, bit of an answer. But yeah, completely different to drive the petrol carts. Um, at first I was sort of using the petrol cart lines and the braking points. And yeah, then this time it's sort of have to relearn, relearn karting. So they brought my time from a 36 something, I think, or like high 35, I'll put it out somewhere. But yeah, brought it down by about a second, uh, just under a second. So the progression was good, good, nice. Um, being a heavyweight, it still doesn't um, help with the weight. Lightweight to probably even more further ahead. But that's what you've got to live with. So yeah, that's um, the e-carton experience. Thank you very much for watching YouTube. Um, next video, I'm not sure, it'll be something. Um, got a Tillotson video to edit. I know we're racing the Tillotson at Wilton as well this weekend. Uh, but that probably won't be for a few videos yet. Um, Go qualify for BIKC as well at Leicester, so a few videos of that. But yeah, thank you very much for watching YouTube. Don't forget to like the video if you haven't liked it already. Leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one.